Timmons, James Bay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, the indifference of this Conservative government to the crisis that's facing Ontario's middle class is absolutely staggering. We've had 150,000 people thrown out of work, and they're not getting EI. People who've paid their bills in their houses are losing them. And so how does this government set out to help Ontario? Well, they paid Dalton McGuinty to harmonize a tax squeeze that is going to hit every Ontario family. Mr. Speaker, who exactly is going to benefit from this tax squeeze on the bottom lines of Ontario families? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Finance. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and perhaps that honourable member should act, ask his finance minister of Ontario, because that's an Ontario decision. That's not something that should be asked in this House, Mr. Speaker. But now we're talking about budgets. Let me remind all honourable members, in our 2009 budget, we put forward an economic action plan that will, in fact, help Canadians. We had to do it on our own, Mr. Speaker. We didn't get much help from the opposition. But we put in place a plan that will increase jobs for Canadians through providing extended EI, training for them so they can retrain for new jobs for the future. Honourable Member for Timmins, James well, Mr. Payne. Speaker, I'm sure those kind of one-liners might wor uh, work at the uh, Reform Party barbecues. But the reality is they paid $4.3 billion to Dalton McGuinty to harmonize the tax. They're involved. And what's the hit? 8% more for gasoline. 8% more for home heating, 8% more for electricity. Now, this might not bother them, but it is going to hit the bottom line of every working family during the worst economic downturn since the Depression. How can this government justify aiding Dalton McGuinty's tax grab against Ontario citizens? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Finance. Did I miss something, Mr. Speaker? Is this not the House of Commons of Canada, not the Legislature of Ontario? But, Mr. Speaker, he does raise an interesting point, supporting Canadians. What did the NDP vote against? Any of the tax cuts that we put in place. The taxes for small and large businesses, the NDP voted against that. The cut in the GST from 6 to 5, the NDP voted against that. Then they stand in this House, Mr. Speaker, and suggest that they're representing Canadians? I think not. not. The Honourable